everyone, Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Esther. I am um, a licensed designer for Elizabeth Craft Designs and I am designing the um, Planner Essentials range and also the range for the Sidekick Planners, the Sidekick Journals. Um, and oh, I'd like to welcome you for those of you who are new. Today I want to show you uh, how I made or how I am going to make uh, the numbers of the days for my December day by day, my December journal. Um, Annette has been doing, uh, um, how shall I say it? Annette has been doing um, a December day by day in the Sidekick journal, so that's the smaller, the personal size journals we have. Uh, but I am already doing uh, my December day by day. Uh, in a full size planner, so the larger size. So that's why I also wanted to show you how I am going to set up uh, the days or not really setting up them in this video. I'm only showing you how I make the numbers. Uh, so the numbers one up to 31. And uh, this year I am going to use um, the new postage die. So that's this one. That's the one I'm going to use. And from uh, the new paper pack, the Christmas field notes set, I am going to use the numbers which are in here, the circle ones, these ones. So uh, there's a lot of uh, beautiful vintage paper in this set. So, um, and Annette has also been using this uh, paper pack for the December day by day in the Sidekick journals. So I took these numbers, I already pre-cut them. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm not going to bother you with uh, cutting the numbers. And I took this one. So when you are die cutting this uh, die, it will give you this. So a full size planner page, which you can use in your journal as it is. Um, let me show you what it will look like. Um, where is a sample? I've got a sample here, which I've been stamping on. So that's what you can do if you want to make a full size page in your planner or if you uh, cut off or tear off the edges, it will give you uh, an overlay like this. So for example, you can use it on the back side of a page and it will give a completely different look. Uh, but for today, uh, I am going to make uh, faux uh, postage stamps. Well, you see them a lot uh, lately, uh, recently uh, on, on um, YouTube, on Instagram, or maybe even on TikTok, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you uh, just the way I am um, making them. So uh, what you need to do first is trim off the edges or tear, the, tear it off. I am going to do that with you. You can easily fold it if you want, and then you can tear off the edges. But what you also can do is cut them with a pair of scissors. But it's very easy to tear them off like this. Don't throw away this piece because that's really cool to use on another page too. Um, I can also show you how you can do this with your scissors. Um, the edges will be a little bit more crisp or clean when you cut them like this. So um, that's all up to you, what you prefer. So cutting or tearing, it doesn't uh, well, it's all up to you. This is a little bit harder, but it's giving a more um, genuine look uh, as a postage stamp. That's what I'm thinking. My personal opinion. Okay, but now I want to distress the edges. Um, you can do two things. Tear them apart first and then start inking all the edges uh, one by one. But I found out that it's also quite handy to do it this way. And they're all stuck together. <laughs> so just take your favorite ink and ink up all the edges. So this is a little bit easier to hold on in your hands, to keep them in your hands. And then fold the pieces um, which you need to ink. And because we are going to tear them apart later when I finish the inking, it's not really a problem um, when it's folding a bit here and there, because I'm going to separate uh, the stamps anyway. So I will keep continue doing this. 
And again, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Um, only, I think I'm halfway now. But this is so much fun to make, guys. I mean, when you start making those, uh, it's another addiction. <laughs> I'm sure you will love it. So this one folds a little bit too far. But I think this is the most easy way to do so. But also this is completely up to you and whatever you prefer. The way you want to work is most important, of course. Okay, this one, I think a few more to go. You know, if I forget one, that's not a problem. I can always add uh, some ink later. Okay. Oh, there are two more. Okay, one more here. And one more here. And then I have to do the outer edge completely. So, oh, that's a little bit too much. But also, that's not going to be an issue because I am going to decorate all the little pieces um, one by one. I'm not going to do all of them today in this video because that will uh, take too much time. Uh, I'm only going to do, let's say, a couple of them, maybe five, six, I don't know. So you get an idea of what you can do. So these are all finished, not finished now and now I am tearing them apart. So I have the base for my stamps. Of course you can also um, use this on its own, eh? as I showed you before, you can use full pages, you can make um, them as a background for cards. So it's a very versatile die set. Or you can leave a couple of them together like this. Maybe that's fun too. I will put those aside. I had a couple extra laying down here. I'm going to put those together. I also took all my Christmas stamps and ticket stamps, the ones I have at the moment. So these are all from previous years too. There are some new ones. This is a new one. Um, these are quite recent, last years. But you can all mix and match them. And here are the latest tickets, tickets, tickets stamps. Okay, where shall I put them? I need my space. Mm, going to put them on this side. Then I also got uh, my favorite <laughs> Toy Soldier Nutcracker um, stickers. These are from my Etsy shop. If you like them, uh, you can find them on Etsy and the link will be below um, this video. Uh, here are some numbers I need to do or I want to do. And these are some stamps I made in a li little different way because here, I, oh, I'm going to put them here. I stamped on this page uh, itself. So I covered up with a mask the little girls and then did some background stamping and here there's just a B. But what I'm going to do now is going to make mats on those little pieces first. So um, what you need is uh, some glue, those dies, uh, preferably um, die cut them in advance, the numbers and some bits and pieces of paper. I've got something laying down over here, oh, some leftovers. I'm going to use these little pieces too. Uh, and you see you only need a little bit of paper, some leftovers. leftovers. So um, take some from your stash and you will be fine. Um, these circles, you can cut them out. There is a, a small circle die in the December day by day uh, kit. Um, but then you have to do them one by one in your die cutting machine. And um, if you want to make it easy and you do have a circle of punch, punch, you can do it like this. Now, when you cut those in little pieces, it's a little bit hard to put them uh, in the center of your um, punch. And I have a little trick for that. So now I am looking for my little <laughs> notebook. Where is it? Okay disappears. One moment. Oh, bummer. Here it is. You know those sticky postage notes? Um, I'm sticking one on the back and then it's much easier to put it in your um, punch. Make sure it's nicely lined out and then you've got 
your circle. I'm going to do them. Yeah, I think I'm, I will do all those five which are laying around over here. I'm going to remove the backing paper later, but first I want to cut them. So you see how easy it is when you use a, a little post-it note. Because these parts are a little bit hard uh, to hold on to when you want to put them in your punch. So this is going to be the last. Oh no, there's one more. Yep. Trying to do it pre as precise as possible. One more. So then I've got those numbers covered for you. So I can keep on working and I don't have to get back to my punch. I'm going to throw this away. And there is some backing paper on the back of the numbers now. Well, it's not a problem that's there, but okay. I'm just going to remove it. Because if you're going to glue them down later on, um, well, they are in, in, in your way. You want you don't want them there. Okay, this can go too. Oops. Now, you see it stacks really well, <laughs> also where you don't want it. Okay, let's see. I am going to ink those edges first. So I've got everything prepared to make my postage stamps. There are only a couple of them, so it doesn't take up too much time. And you can use whatever um, ink you prefer, of course. But because the border of those, um, I call them bingo numbers, bingo, lotto numbers, um, is black, I would suggest uh, a darker color because otherwise you see the white edges. But if you like that to see that, that's also fine, of course. Okay, one more to go. So that's that. So now I have got everything set up. I hope. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting something, but okay, I will notice that when I'm when I'm working. Okay, I've also got some bits and pieces in my little box here. These are all cutouts from the paper pad and maybe some extra stuff from last year, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's also good to have something like this on hand um, if you want to make those little um, decorated stamps or little ornaments, little uh, pieces of art. That's also what you can call them. I think I'm only also going to take my box of postage stamps, the real vintage postage, postage stamps, sorry. Um, and these, I think, are also fun to use. These are the numbers from, um, I think it was book six, you know, those little elements. These might come in handy too. And I think I'm good now. What else can I use? Maybe some red labels, because um, I'm going to do red and green labels. I've also got a box with some red leftover labels from different other projects. So maybe I'm going to use those too. Okay, so I am going to start. Um, oh, by the way, in the set is, you also have got these. Oh, I'm going to show you, the little mats. Um, you can use them on your postage stamp. So for example, this one goes here. And you can use those if you want. Um, for now, I am going to do it by hand and I'm just going to cut them um, as I'm working on it. So, but for each size, there's a matching uh, mat for you to use. Okay, let me start with a big one. Yes, why not? So I need a mat on this one. I don't need it, but I want it. So uh, for example, you take a piece of paper and now I'm going to just eyeball it. I saw Michelle uh, doing it this way. Oh, I'm going to put this one aside too. Um, and it's so much easier than measuring and then cutting it with your um, paper trimmer. So it's just a little bit of eyeballing. And there's a little mark I'm going to place here. Then I'm going to look at this side and see, okay, I want it to go approximately up to here. So you need this line and this line. So if you are good in cutting by hand, you can cut by hand, of course. 
or you can take a little paper trimmer like this or your large one and again that also depends on what you have uh, in your craft room or in um, yeah your stash and what you pre prefer to work with so i hope it's a little bit straight i am a little bit in doubt but oh i'm not sure yet but it should fit this way i think it's quite good yes okay so this will also this one also needs some ink and then it gives um, immediately a little bit more depth uh, depth 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 <laughs> Uh, to your little piece of art so that's going to be in here now what you can do my plan is to make let's say five of them today with you I can do five of these little cards prepare them one by one and then start decorating them so let's say I'm going to take this one I will use this one maybe this one uh, turn it in um, portrait mode maybe a smaller one to make it easy only a number um, which other one? I like the square one too, but this is also a big one already. Let, uh, I think I'm going to use it. So one, two, three, four, and one more. Okay, let's say I'm going for those five. So I need five pieces of paper. So it's a good idea. Uh, oh, this one I, I tore, tear, tore, tore <laughs> off a little bit too much on the corner, but I think it's cute. So again, eyeballing just guessing where you want the stamp to be take your paper trimmer make sure it's straight as straight as possible <laughs> and then this side too um, oh where did it go this one should go over here and if it's too big you can always trim a little bit off yes it needs to look be a little tiny bit smaller only a millimeter yes that look, looks better so now I'm going oops I'm going for this one. Oh, this is already really uh, crooked so uh, I need a little bit here and I think this way is okay not sure if it's completely straight no it's a little bit on this side and I'm just guessing to see you know it should be the other way around this one can go here so I need two more <coughs> let me see maybe this fits yeah I can take something off this one let me see okay So a little bit here and then probably a little bit from this side which I need to trim off too or cut off, I'm not sure if you say trim off or cut off but I think you understand what I am telling you. Okay, one more, the last one. So this is, oh look, <laughs> here we go. This one goes here really well. And I need to be somewhere around here for it to fit. Let me see if it's straight. Yes. Maybe I need to take a little bit off on the bottom side. Well, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit over here. Okay. So for this one, we are good now too. So. I think I am going to ink up all the edges and then I will start decorating them one by one because I don't want them to be the same so um, but when you have the same uh, base the same background you will be fine if you want you can change that too you can let's say you want a red background or something else maybe some um, decorated paper more decorated paper design paper and I did uh, already make uh, a couple of them. I'm going to show you them um, when I finish those. And they have some back more, more color in the background too, but not all of them. I like it to keep it uh, a little bit basic like this. And then, um, yeah, you can decorate them with any color you like. 
So this is the last one. Here we go. So I'm not going to glue them down now because um, if I'm going to do some stamping, I want to take this. I want to be able to take it off and do some stamping. Otherwise, when you glue them down now and you start stamping, you will also um, yeah, get your ink on the base, on the stamp itself. And I don't want that. So uh, shall I start with the big one? Yes, why not? <laughs> OK, the big one. Well, the big one calls for one of my uh, guys, of course. Let me see. I have been using one or two of them in my stash, but I need to know which one because I don't want to use the same one. I'm not going to show them to you yet, <laughs> so we'll keep it a little secret. Oh, I think I will go for this one. As you can see, when making those stamps, you always have a white border around it. And... Um, yeah, that's always um, when you die cutting uh, stamps, uh, stamps, sorry, stickers. <laughs> um, and for this, it's quite small, but I'm going to take a little bit off. And you really don't have to do that. But personally, I want to on this one. I'm looking for my other scissors, but I think I'm, actually, I'm crazy if I'm going to do that. Okay, maybe a little bit on this side. But it's just something I like better if it's a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm trying to do this. Well, I will move on to the other side too. Oh, oops, here we go. Just messing it up now. Okay, no. I am messing this one up. I'm taking another one. Oh, this one is better already, so I'm going to do it. You just have to be patient. Okay, just a little bit smaller. And that's only because I like it. <laughs> Again, you don't need to do this. Carefully <laughs> try to cut around the corners. Okay, and I think this is good for this guy now. Okay, and last part. Here we go. Okay, so I want this guy to go on my large stamp, but I also want to keep seeing this nu these numbers. But if I'm going to put it on the side, which uh, sounds yeah logic to me, I'm covering up the numbers. When I'm putting it here, and I don't want it to be in the middle. Or I have to put something over there. That might be fun. Hmm. I think I'm going to add an, a label or something on this side to add a little bit more background. Let's see what I've got here. This stamp laying around. I've got a little piece of red. No, that's I'm going to get my red labels. And um, I think these come from, I don't know, these are the vintage one. I have ages already. And I think this is an old one too. I do have some stickers um, labels on Etsy too, but those are not the ones. I don't know <laughs> where these are. Uh, let me see. But there are some in the reminiscence book too. Oh yeah, this one, for example, is from the one of the reminiscence books. And where are the other ones? I've got some, oh, okay, some more red thingies, <laughs> which might come in handy. This is also a piece from a rem reminiscence book. <laughs> These I stamped with one of our stamps, and that's what you also can do, because there's also a new set with... Um, I'm not sure if I've got it here with the labels. Where is it? Yes, this one. So you can make your own labels like this. Use red ink and then you can create labels like this. So that's a good one too. Um, so these are also s some hand, hand stamped. This is from the reminiscence book. Oh, now I'm messing things up. Sorry. I'm going to put these aside because I have to do those later. Okay. 
the large one first. I think it needs a large label. I just want to add some color. No, that's something you won't see. Here you won't see it either. So <laughs> I am not sure where I want to go. Uh, but this is just playing around. I'm going to put this aside too. And you just keep playing until you uh, like what you see. So this might be fun. You see that the label is coming from behind. I, I think I'm going to ink up the edges of this guy too, the toy soldier, nutcracker, not sure if you, how you want to call them. Okay. I think I like this one to go along. Also inking these up. This one goes here somewhere, not sure where, but okay. I think, but it needs some something more on the background. And I want to see a little bit more of the numbers. So uh, that's also something you can do. Put it a little bit more to the side and let the pop, let <laughs> the red part pop out on this side. And then you will see something red on this side too. And I need to trim this off. But first I need to do some stamping on this side. And then I am going to take some ticket stamps or some background. There are some more numbers on this one. That might be fun too. Hmm. And let me see where are the tickets. Can use some handwriting. Registered is also really fun. I think I am going to start with this one first. I always use a soft foamy thing uh, if I want to do some stamping. So I'm going to put this on my desk and I'm taking this stamp. Oh, as you can see, it hasn't been used yet. <laughs> Not this one. Um, and I sometimes hear people saying they are not able to stamp it nice or um, they don't know how to do it, but it really all depends on your um, ink. So this is a new stamp. It hasn't been used before. Uh, and I am taking Versafine Claire for this one. And that's one of the inks I really use a lot. And most of the time I stamp it off on a piece of scrap paper first to see what it looks like. But now I will stamp immediately onto my paper uh, so you can see what happen what's happening. Now I'm also going to cover up those numbers. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, should I do it this way? Okay, I'm not going to do that. And I have been inking up the complete stamp, but that's useless because <laughs> I am only using a part of it. But you see, it stamps perfectly. I also want some on this side. And maybe a little bit at the top. Okay, should I put something here? I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, it's good. So you see, um, there's nothing wrong with our stamps. <laughs> and uh, if it's not stamping perfectly, please check your ink. Make sure you've got plenty of ink on your ink pad. Okay, going back to this one. This one I want to have here. And you still see the numbers from the original uh, card. So I'm going to glue this one over there. Taking my wet glue. And I think it was supposed to be somewhere here. So the guy is a little bit too tall for this card, for this postage stamp. So I'm going to cut off his legs. I'm sorry, but um, that's the way it is. So this is a little bit too big too. So I'm turning it around and oh, cut it up. You can even use this little piece to go on the other side if you want to do that. So I think this guy can go here. Um, sure, well, I, I just keep it here for now. But I think it needs a little bit extra. I like this part too, the little R. Maybe I'm going to put that here. And of course, I need my number. So it doesn't really matter which day uh, I am using it now. Let me say this is going to be my day 28. And I think. I will do this something here. It looks uh, quite well. So I'm not going to ink this one up. Just leave it as it is. Okay. 
and then he can go over there. Now it's a sticker, but sometimes they are a bit hard to remove, uh, especially when you are doing a video. Okay, now I'm lucky. <laughs> it goes quite well. Um, I think I like it here. So you see red on both sides and then trimming off. And I think I like the number to be here. You can also cut off a little bit of the number. So it looks like it's uh, falling off <laughs> your stand. You don't need to do that, but it's just uh, whatever you like. So here it is. Number 28 for my day 28 in my December day by day. And here is the base. And I am going to glue this one down on the stand. So that's the first one for now. And this is really fun to do. These are just little pieces of art and you can make it as difficult as you want. Oh, look at my hands, guys. <laughs> There's ink everywhere. I need, um, I am making a mess. Okay, it looks like it's not going Okay, it wants to say on my nail polish. Okay. Okay, so this is day 28. I am going to put the little guys, put them aside. 28. Okay, now I'm going to do a little one, a quick one. Um, I don't think this one uh, needs a lot, so... You can actually do only this. I mean, that's a simple one, but it looks cute when you use it in your journal. So I think I'm going to keep this one simple. And also because it's a really small uh, stamp. And of course you can do some extra stamping on it, but I think it's fun to do one just as it is. Just a simple one. Because if you want to make a, uh, stamp like this for every day in your December day by day. <laughs> you, you will need a little bit of time to do so. So uh, a quick one here and there is okay. And you see how much fun it looks when they go together already. Uh, another one. Let's say uh, I am going for day 20 or oh, 26. It's in Holland. We have got two Christmas days. I could have been. Can I take it off? Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to make this day 23. Because we have two Christmas days over here. So we have 25th and 26th. So I think I'm going to make 26th a little bit more special because uh, it's Christmas over here. Okay, change of plans, 23 and 28. And then I am going to uh, keep 26 for now on the side and I am going to do 29 or 24. It doesn't really matter. Where is my pin? You need to put this one back in. So, two already done. Then I have a vintage Christmas stamp over here. Shall I use that one? Two actually, but it's too wide because it also has this uh, stamping border. Well, that's really easy to glue this one down. And, <laughs> you know, you can do it, but I don't think it's really fun doing it this way. So. I want this one to go there first and then I can use this one. Yes, I'm going to trim off the, um, how do you say it? I think it's called a deco edge. I'm not sure. I'm go, going to trim off those edges. And now I am making uh, the postage stamps for my December day by day journal. But of course you can use those stamps for anything you like. If you have a certain theme uh, for a journal, uh, you can do that too, of course. Or you want to, let's say you want to make all botanical uh, stamps. <coughs> That's a fun idea. Or maybe with children or flowers. You, you can use them for anything you like. I'm not sure if I like this because it's almost the same size, but I think I am going to use it because it says Merry Christmas. Um, I want it to be on my day 26 then. 
So I'm going to cover it up with 26 at the bottom here. And you can still can see the little angel, the bell, and the words saying Merry Christmas over here. I'm not sure if you're able to see it on screen, but <laughs> it is there. It covers up something at the bottom side. It's an old stamp from the US, I see now. It's from 1957. Um, yes, 57. <laughs> okay, inking this one up. Okay, here we go again. And this is, again, a, a quick and easy one because I found this uh, Christmas stamp. Okay, make sure it's nice in the center. 26 is going here. At the bottom side. And then, you see, like this, it's not so fun already, but when you are... Uh, Adhering it to uh, the stamp, it suddenly looks really cool, really fun. Okay, this one goes here. And you see you've got another one ready for your journal. So there are three. Uh, did I do it right? Yeah, 26. That's my Christmas, uh, second Christmas day over here in Holland. Then I've got two more I wanted to show you. Not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use some stamps for sure because I took out the box with stamps and I want to use some from this. Uh, this is uh, a bit larger stamp, so I have a little bit room, a little bit extra room to play around. One of those numbers might be fun. Now oh, here's one with which has some red here. I think I prefer that one. Not sure if I want it this way or the other way, and that doesn't really matter that much. Um, I think I'm going to take one of the stamps. Not sure if I'm already allowed to show this one, but because the date when I'm filming this, it is now, um, is it August <laughs> 26th? <laughs> so if you are watching it, it will be probably October or something. But today, when I'm filming or editing, eh, recording this, it is uh, August 26th. <laughs> so I'm not sure about the release date yet of all the new products, but I am going to use it. This one is the airmail stamp. That's this one. And I think I'm going to use half of it. So a little bit on the side over here. Taking my um, foamy thing. <laughs> My pin, it needs to go back in the glue. Uh, the stamp. Again, my favorite ink for the moment. Uh, should I use? Well, I, I think I will use the part which says airmail. But you can also turn it around and use the the part which uh, shows the the aircraft the plane itself okay but you see now this is a really fun part um, to use on your little um, piece of art <laughs> then I am also planning on using this one and uh, maybe a stamp let's go for the red what does this say Australia well that's nice it's not a Christmas stamp but it's red so I like it. <laughs> Uh, something like this. You need your number, of course. Um, not sure. And now I've got four things. You see, one, two, three, four. And that's no good. I want five. So I need something else. I've got another one of those. Um, oh, there's one more. Let me see what else have I got. Another red stamp. That's one, two. I like that one, too. Rup. And I'm just moving things around. I, I want to um, keep seeing the word airmail. So I think I am going to move it a little bit differently. Not sure why. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. So like this. Then this one goes here. 
10 then maybe I can also do 29 because that's brown I think this one goes better and I think I'm going to put 29 over here hmm yeah I think I'm good with that because there's a little bit black over here here is some black and then you have those red elements um yes now remember this <laughs> or just start gluing it down okay somewhere i want this one to go in here and these are all vintage stamps so um i think they are good as they are so i'm not going to distress those edges now It's just because there are uh, yeah, some decorative elements on your little piece of art. And I think I'm going to... Yes, it's nice because you see the face of our... This is a Dutch stamp. And I think this is uh, our formal queen. Queen Mum Mum. <laughs> That's uh, Wilhelmina, if I'm correct. Already gone a long time ago. Okay, then I'm going to add number 29 over here. And you just see the, the, the red numbers over here, and you see a little part of her face, which I really like. And then you are going to glue it down on your stamp. And you see how different it looks when you are putting it um, on your stamp. Now, this one is a not really square square, so yeah, this is the way it should be. Oh. I think there is some ink on my uh, foam pad, <laughs> which comes off and now is on the back of the stamp. But that is no problem. Okay, so one more. Uh, the last one. I think I need to do this one, 24. Okay, put this one back in again. And let's see what else have I got laying around here. I'm not going to use those. I took a number from this one, this one, this one is okay. I've got some things here. Maybe a little bit of this red. Does that fit? Mm, not really. Not really. Let me see. Oh, this is fun. This is also one uh, stamped with one of our stamp uh, sets. And I'm going to glue it uh, and then cut it out cut it off <laughs> somewhere around here so it looks like it's falling off of your uh, paper something like this this uh, I need this but I need something extra you know because two is no good oh there's ink everywhere <laughs> can you see it oh this is terrible because it's on my um, foam wet okay I'm moving that one away I'm sorry guys, this is terrible. I didn't notice. Okay. But I am sure you all can relate to this ink on your fingers. So we just keep going on. Uh, a little bit of red. And then there is my number 24. Oh, I'm going to take the stamp away, that's easier. And I'm just trying to make a little layout this little piece of paper there is this one no 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 i can do some stamping of course but i can also use this no i think i will do some stamping then i need my mat again but that's not a really wise thing to do because um let me get a piece of paper somewhere i only need a little part oh here it is okay a piece of paper to cover up my craft mat I need this one stamping block and a little because I like those stamps with the handwriting and actually I don't mind uh, or I don't mind it doesn't matter what they say these are addresses but it's just as a decorative elements names and addresses uh, on the background of your little piece of paper okay something like this Here we go, and then you see it looks completely different already, uh, only by using a little stamp. So then you can do this one here, 24 can go there, should I put this a little bit more to the side, 
I am going to trim off a little bit of this side. So, it will go here. And I am not sure if it needs a little bit extra. It can be good this way, but maybe I can, we have this little tiny itsy bit. There's this little stamp over here. I think I am going to use that one. I am not sure if you are able to see it because it's so small, but it's a really small uh, stamp and it has a number and it says, let me see, number 328. And I think it will fit over there on the top, just on this little piece of paper. Oops, yeah, here we go. And it gives it just a little bit extra. Okay, do you think it needs more? No, I don't think so. I'm going to lower it a bit so it it's more to the center of the in the center of the height of the stamp. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I think it's good like this. Okay, I need some glue. And oh <laughs> I'm uh, using my tweezers now because it's quite small and now I've got a pin in my mouth. Putting it aside again. Okay, this one goes here approximately. And then I am going to put number 24 below. Somewhere around here. Now can you imagine doing this with butterflies or birds or tiny pieces and make those little pieces of art? to use in your journal, or you can make a little tag, you know, punch a little hole in it, and then for gift wrapping, it will be so much fun. Okay, here we go. And, and this is number 24. And here we go. So this is uh, what I wanted to show to you today in this video. And it's just to give you an idea of what you can do with the stamps, uh, the stamp set, <laughs> um, to make your own faux stamps. Now, I've only been showing you those, the ones I made today. I'm going to put everything aside and I'm going to show you the ones I made earlier. Um, because now, with these last, the five last ones, I've got my whole month of December complete. And I'm looking for a piece of paper now, so I can show you what I look like. Okay, I'm going to take the back of this side, and I'm going to put it here, and so I can show you what it looks like when you have a bunch of them. And actually, I think they're so much fun. Um, it's almost a shame to use them. I mean, how much fun is it just to make those? And and put them in a box, make a nice box. And you see, I already did quite a lot of them. Well, all of them. So I can start using them in my journal. But I didn't want to finish this before I could um, make this video for you. You see, here's one more of the Nutcracker guys. Here's another one on this stamp. So I'm going to lay them out for you so you can see all the work I've been doing. <laughs> and I am quite proud of them. And it's yeah, it's really fun Ooh, to make them. Okay, a few more. And you see there also um I'm going to put this one, where should I put it? Here. That's a big one here. Uh, all little pieces of paper uh, used as a background. Little pieces of paper, stamps, um, you know, rubber stamps, stamps, or vintage postage stamps. Uh, you can use anything you have left uh, to do this. Okay, one more. I don't know where to put it. Is the, oh, okay, I'm putting it on the side. Oh, it is 20. Uh, one more here. And the last one. Okay, here we go. So that's it for today. I'm going to put this box aside. 
and I hope you can see um, yeah, what I've been doing and I hope you like it. Let me see, can you, is it good, visible now? Yes, it is. Okay, and um, that was it for today, for today's video. I hope you liked it and um, thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, you can find the products I've been using in your favorite craft store, your favorite craft shop. Or check the links below um, if you don't have any of those, which I can't imagine, but you never know. Okay, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon. And uh, yeah, please like my video. That's a good one too. And subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye-bye.